So we would be measuring how much electromagnetic field and radiation this thing produces. That's a wireless charger for the Nexus, the new Google Nexus 4. So let's start the test. We'll start with a simple magnetic range test. Have our little device here, tri field meter. We'll see how this is at 2 right now, which is potentially safe at this distance. But as we go closer to the device, this will spike up. And it does so in bursts, as you can see. And if I go even closer, let me see if I can get there. It stays pretty high. This is fairly dangerous for a human being to be so close to an electromagnetic field. So the distance, let me see if I can get it from the side, is about that far from the device. I consider that very close to me. There is still a reading. You can see how it spikes up still. Again, this is at a good distance from the device. So let's switch this quickly to the that was there in zero to hundred. Let's go to the electric this range to see if there is any electricity. It's zero right here. The distance is pretty far. Starting from this device. But if I go closer, we'll start seeing spikes soon. It's already starting to spike up. Let me see if I could zoom in here. The electric is the first bar. That's the distance. It's not that strong like the magnetic field, but it is pretty strong still for a device to be emitting so much electricity. If I go even closer, so what will happen? This is basically in a high limit. The right now it's almost touching though. So that sums it up. That's the Google Nexus wireless charger by Google. You can get it at the Play Store. If it's safe, it's up to you to decide. I don't think it's really safe. I'm going to be returning my mine back. Well, that's it. Thanks.